Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and today I'm out here with my Garmin InReach Mini 2, and I'm going to do another quick test, but today's test is I'm going to set tracking on the way out. It's not going to be a long hike, but then I'm going to turn around and track back. But the difference on this one is I want to, uh, when I track back, I want to go off the trail like on a switchback, and I want to, like, say, you know, maybe you're familiar with the area, you think there's a shortcut, and you get off trail. It'll start giving me audible alerts that I'm off course and then it'll want me to turn around. But if I go and re-intercept the trail, will it tell me I'm still off course and want me to go back? Or will it say, hey, I'm on course and I'm on my way to back to safety? So that's the test I'm going to do today. But before I do, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. So let's get right to it. Let's get hiking and uh, this will be a pretty short video and I'll see you back at the end. But before I get back to the ending, end, I'll have some videos on the trail of, of uh, the audible alerts and, and what's happening. And then we'll wrap it up and tell you what I found out. All right, I'm gonna take this road to the right here when I'm tracking out. But when I come back, I'm gonna cut through this field right here. I'm gonna go a little bit farther down to the left. Then I come back, I'm gonna come this direction. And we're going to see if when I get back on the trail right here to go back that direction where I came from to my starting point, if it'll give me on course again or whether it wants me to go all the way back around to where I got off the trail. So let's see what this thing can do. It's a gorgeous 70 degree day here in Colorado, near Larkspur, Colorado, and it's the end of March. And uh, we still have some snow left coming this, uh, this way this year, but uh, right now it's gorgeous out here. And I've been enjoying the view and now I'm lost. So what do I do? Well, fortunately with the Garmin Energy Mini 2, I'm just going to hit track back, uh, navigate by track back, and then let's see if it gets me back to my safe point, my starting point. And, um, and then we're also gonna do a little test where I'm gonna take a little shortcut and see if that works. And let's get with that. Let's see how that thing turns out and um, what it does. Okay, so right now it's still tracking. We're going to now see if I can do this and video it all at the same time. I'm gonna hit okay. We can stop tracking if we want here. I think we have to do that. Stop tracking. I'll put screenshots up, up, maybe, but if this looks really good on the video, then I won't have to. So I'm going to stop tracking. Now, it'll say back to start here, but I almost don't want to do that. Let's go back out, and I want to navigate. So I'm stop tracking. Huh. I really don't want to go back to start right here. I mean, I do want to go back to start. Maybe I should just do that. Let's go back to start. Loading core. So I was looking for track back. And it's not doing the track back. It's just saying back to start. Well, that's the easiest thing to do. It's what most people are going to see. So let's just start hiking here. And then we're going to go off trail here in a minute. And see if it gives me alerts. Okay, so here's the, the shortcut I'm going to take. I'm going to go right down there. So right now, the device shows me, my tracking back shows me right on the trail. So I'm gonna turn now. And you can see the trail is now pointing back to the left. I have the Navigate heading up or, um, so where my antenna is pointing, it's always pointing, you know, that's the direction I'm going. You can see the trails back to the left. Here in a second, what's supposed to happen on track back, well, it does happen is it'll give me an audible alert that I'm off the trail. Um, I've had an issue recently with, with this. Well, there it is right there. So you can see, it says off course. So it works. So even though it's not necessarily in track back mode, it is giving me the audible alert, alert and the visual alert that I'm off, off course. And like I said, the real thing I want to know is it's going to give me more alerts that I'm off course here. And that's fine but when i get down here to the uh, clearing to the end of the clearing that's where i'll re-intercept my course and i want to see if it tells me i'm back on course 
So we're going to keep watching this here. See if it gets me some more alerts. You didn't know it. I'm not sure you can see it from the video. That's Pike's Peak off in the distance. That white capped mountain above the the mountains in front of us here. Maybe I'll put a circle on the video or an arrow and point to it. Been walking here for a couple minutes. I haven't gotten another alert yet. Seemed like when I was doing the track back. I was getting off course uh, tracks or alerts um, every 30 seconds or so. You can see right now it's starting to show me coming back to the the trail, the tracks I laid down earlier. Let's see, it's not it's not continuing to tell me I'm off course. So this bothers me just a bit. Well, there it goes. Now it's saying I'm on course. See, I got so close to to the tracks here. Now I'm telling it's now it's telling me I'm on course even though I took a shortcut. That's what I was wanting to know. It was taking a little more time between the alerts than I wanted it to. Uh, one of the times I was out here before, it seemed like it was 30 seconds to a minute, a minute between alerts that I was um, off course. That one was a lot longer. You can see right here that it shows me back to the tra trail. I'm trying to get to a point where it can, I can see it. All right, so I'm back to this. Um, not a fork but the, where i took the different trail i just came down from there i've re-intercepted the trail here see if it gives me any more alerts like i'm on course again i took a picture a photo of uh, my app and it shows the trail that i took coming out in pink or magenta or something like that and then the trail coming as i'm tracking back it shows it in blue I believe maybe I got a short memory. I don't remember already. Um, but anyway, it has a different color showing the trail in, going out and then um, tracking back. You can see I'm on I'm on the trail on the way back. It's not much of a trail, but so if you don't see track back and you know it's you were tracking out and then it said uh, you stopped tracking and it says back to start. Don't worry about it not saying track back. It's basically doing the exact same thing as a track back would do. I'm almost back to my starting location. Right past these trees. Well, we're almost there. This test is just about over. It's very accurate. The tracks that it lays down. I mean, I am right on top of this. You know, I'm saying that thinking the accuracy right now is within 10, 20 feet. I'm really impressed by the technology that Garmin's put into this. It is actually showing my starting point. Oh, there it is, 30 feet at the bottom. I walked past the starting point. I knew I was trying to see if the how accurate this is 14 feet it didn't give me any alert there we go arrive back at the start well success and this is my starting point right here See if this says anything else. Navigate waypoints track back. You see, this is what I was wanting before, where I you get the option to navigate by track back, but I just navigated to back to start without track back. It's a great device, but this is again where I say you gotta come out here and test it, right? Before you hit the trails for real. So just to run through back through how you stop this. So I, I'll back I'll back the home menu, home screen. Then I'm going down to stop tracking. And this is back to start, save, discard. I'm not going to save it. I'm going to discard. 
and it's discarding activity discarded so again you know i do so much reviews of these things here that uh, i don't like to have too much in the device all right well the test was a, a success it didn't quite turn out like i i thought um, because i was expecting again to track back um by or navigate by track back it when i got out and i stopped the tracking it automatically came up with back to start save and discard and i i've had this i've been out here before and tested it to where um, it gave me the navigate by track track back that may be the case if you because i know what happened when i when i um went out by route and then i went out navigated by route on the way out and then one time i just hiked out without tracking um it gave me uh it gave me the track back option under navigate navigation uh so i, I gotta i gotta test this more just to get more comfortable and know for sure but if you're tracking out and you stop tracking and it says back to start and you're wanting to do the track back well that basically is track back if you're if you navigate if you're out and you're lost and you see you don't see that back to start and you see navigate and you, you click on navigation and it says track back there you go use it it'll get you back to uh, the safe uh, back uh, to your uh, to starting point so i knew navigation back was going to work whether by back to start or by track back um, the other part that i was really curious about probably more than the track back on this on this test was when i went off course and i took a shortcut and like and you you'll, you've already saw in the video it alerted me i was off course it didn't give me give me as many alerts as i was hoping for it seemed like it went two three minutes before it gave me an alert but then the next alert i I received is when I intercepted the course again on the shortcut and then I got the audible and visual alert that I was back on course and then I never received any other alerts until I got back to my starting point and then I did get an alert that said I that I had uh, returned to my starting location so again um, I've got more to learn myself test these you out yours also make sure you know how to use them and uh, especially if you want to communicate with people make sure you can communicate between different devices um, and communicate with others make sure you uh, if you want them to see your map share page when you're out test that before you go out and um, and then if you're on you know so it, you're, if you think you might ever get lost even if you don't think you're gonna get lost um, you know you should get out and uh, test it and because i've been out here several times already i've probably tested this five six times and i now still have more questions um it's a great device but again i when i get out to the colorado trail or some other trail out this year when i'm going to be hiking here sure uh, soon in the next couple weeks i'll know this device well enough to have confidence that it's going to do what i expect it to do so there you go that's uh that's the test today i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions i'd love to hear them and please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out new videos. Look for my next video coming up pretty soon here in Colorado.